Hi everyone, we're coming together for our weekly devotion today. We're talking about some of the things we're thankful for. Uh, you know, I'm thankful for so many things that God has done for me, and I know you probably are as well. Isn't he good? Isn't he a providing God, a gracious God? And it's in the Psalms, especially in the first 41 books. It's called the first book of Psalms. David is sharing a lot of those things that he's so thankful to the Lord for, for that God has done for him. Uh, the beauty of the Psalms is David is being real. He's being open, very transparent. He doesn't hide anything. He's being completely open and honest with God. And so here it's almost like David is taking a reflection. He, it's almost like he pauses for a moment and he looks back in his past and he sees how good God has been to him. So I want you to notice Psalm 21, verse 1 through 7. Notice how you pick up on some of these themes. He says, The king rejoices in your strength, Lord. In other words, David says, I rejoice not in my strength, but in the Lord's strength. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You have granted him, he's speaking in first person of himself, you have granted him his heart's desire, and you have, with, you have not withheld the request of his lips. You come to greet him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him, length of days, forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. Now notice that last verse, because David is reflective now, but here he's starting to get specific. For the king trusts in who? He trusts in the Lord. Why? Because through your unfailing love, I will not be shaken. You see, there's so many things that David pauses here and he reflects upon. You've got to realize, in his life, he lived a life of difficulty and challenge, to say the least. David started out his life on the hillside as a shepherd watching his father's sheep. Now, for those of you who don't know that, that's not even an entry-level job when you're a kid. Basically, that's an afterthought. Basically, David's life really wasn't uh, a matter of interest in any of his family, his father or his older brothers. David was basically put somewhere on the side of a pasture in the middle of the Judean wilderness and only the Lord knew where he was. Have you ever felt like that? Have you felt like you've been in a situation that, man, it, it, I don't, the only one that knows where I am has to be the Lord. No one else knows him. I don't even think anyone else cares. If you feel like that, I want to promise you something. God knows and he cares. And so David is reflecting back. This is really a reflective psalm because what he's doing, he's saying, Lord, your strength has been with me. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have the victories that I've had. Not only that, you've granted me the desires of my heart. Wow. Now, now listen, let me, let me unpack this for you. David isn't saying, God, give me everything I want. That's not giving you the desires of your heart. What that truly means is, God placed within David the proper things to be desired. Do you catch that? So often we think we know exactly what we want, and sometimes we just need to stop and pray, Lord, in this moment, I need you to categorize the things in my life that are really important. That's what David did. And because of that, David said, you've given me blessing after blessing. Not only did you give me victory, but you placed a crown on my head. So David was king. That recognized he was anointed by God and recognized the people as, by the people as king. Uh, he asked for life. David said, I ask you for life, and you gave it to me, length of days, forever and ever. And through the victories you gave, my glory has become great. Don't you love how David puts that in perspective? He's saying, God, it's the victories you gave me that's given me any glory. I'm not going to accept this glory. It all came from you. Think about how beautiful that is. I mean, David is saying, all the blessings, all the joy, the prosperity, everything I have, God is the source. And then he closes with those beautiful words, for the king trusts in the Lord through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. So what David is saying is, because of your love that doesn't vacillate, because of your love that doesn't change by the circumstances in life, I put my faith and my total trust in you. What a great example for you and me. So I pray today that you're trusting in the unfailing love 
of God. You see, the truth is, we may fail. We may fail each other. Others may fail us. But God's love never fails us. Amen? Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word today. And we know, God, so often in this life we have difficulties and circumstances, God, that we just have to stop many times and reflect on it. We have to realize, like David did, everything I have <clears throat> has come from the Lord. As David almost like looks back over his life in, in, in a, like a, a second-person form, maybe seeing what's happened to him, he recognizes it's because of the unfailing love of God, the love of God that never vacillates in his life. And Lord, we thank you that your love is unchanging. It's never ending and it's unconditional in our lives today. And we accept that and we thank you, Father, for all you've done for us. And we pray, Lord, right now that we can have the same attitude as David, that we will trust not in ourselves, but in the unfailing love of our God. Father, we ask this now in Christ's name. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you get a chance, give this a, a thumbs up, a comment in the section, share it with someone else, and we hope you have a great day.